back to Meadow Grove. Uh, today we're going to be doing a bit of mowing and hopefully some baling, some raking. We'll do the raking obviously before the baling. Um, I started ra uh, sorry, I started mowing yesterday. I mowed two paddocks, but there's still a paddock or two to go, so we'll mow them and then we'll buy a rake and we'll rake it all up and then we'll do some grass baling, I guess. So let's go ahead and head over to the tractor. So all I've brought since we last uh, the last episode is a mower. That's all I've brought. So today we will buy some more stuff, I guess, that we need. So we need a rake and we'll need a baler. Not sure how much it costs. We've got $1.1 million. So here's the 6M, our only tractor at the moment. Let's lift everything up. And we'll head out to the paddock. And we just whack that, that's always good. Um, I don't know if we need the front end loader to be honest, we could probably t uh, we'll leave it on. IRL, they're a bitch to get off. I don't find it very enjoyable taking front end loaders off. So we'll just leave it on for now. Um, this paddock here looks like one that needs mowing. We've mowed this one as well. It just needs to be raked. I'm pretty sure we, by the looks of it, we own the grass paddock up at that gateway up the back as well, so we'll mow that as well, I reckon. The more bales, the merrier. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Hope everyone's having a good day or night, whatever time zone you may be in. Go ahead and start the mower. I can't remember how much this mower was, it's only like 3.8 metres wide or something, but it's a nice mower. I use it on most of my farms to be honest, just because it's a class one and I like it a lot. A beautiful pond in this paddock. Probably turn the beacon off, we don't really need it on in this paddock. It's not really a needed thing. Oh, oops, and my steering wheel has decided to have a moment, that's always good. We should be good now, there we go. Currently having some issues with my side panel with farming sim, it only seems to be on single player so I can't really use my side panel but my steering wheel works fine. Um, but I'm having an issue with the side panel whenever I use the front end loader or something, the hydraulics stick on. and. It did it a while ago and I disconnected it all and then it worked perfectly fine, but now it's just doing it again and it won't stop, so... I can't really use the side panel. It works fine in multiplayer. I don't have the issue at all. It's only in single player, so I'm not really sure what that's about. It's a bit above me. But if anyone has any solutions or um, some helpful suggestions, I'm all ears. Uh, for now, we'll just use the keyboard and mouse for the front end loader and the steering wheel where we can. But that's okay. I prefer to use the steering wheel, but it's hard when you've got to try and use the mouse for the other thing, so it's easier just to use the keyboard, I think. Which I don't mind, it just means the steering's not smooth. I like smooth steering, but oh well. Yeah, we will mow paddock 21, I think, actually. It looks okay to mow. I get to use Brandon's fuel mod as well. I mean, it was released up by somebody else, but Brandon edited it so it used more fuel, because um, it takes too long to go through fuel, I think, personally, in Farming Simulator. They got the fuel mod, they got the fuel a little too realistic for me. They fill up, if you played it like for 24 hours a day, yeah, it might be okay, but you just don't go through fuel very quickly, so keen to see how long the fuel lasts. I've already done nearly two hours in the track, and we've used, what, 30 litres nearly? So that's not too bad. Hoping for some 
I don't know. I don't know how many barrels we're going to get out of each paddock. Maybe 15, maybe, out of each paddock. I think that would be a nice goal. We might get a little less, though. Maybe. I don't know. I guess we will find out. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how to time lapse. I mean, I don't know if I can even do it with my video editor. Hence the reason why I'm still trying to figure it out. So I may have to change um, how I edit videos or something, I'm not really sure, but I don't know. I don't know if you guys like watching full videos of me mowing or if you like it where I cut the bits out and, you know, through the stages sort of thing or if you want to see time lapses. So, um, you know, comment what you like and stuff and have an opinion. I will read them and have a look and if I like your suggestion, I may use it. Paddocks aren't overly big, it doesn't take us too long to mow. Not too long at all. Which is good. I'm really enjoying the field sizes on this farm. We do have a paddock of wheat to harvester as well to harvest it. We have a paddock of wheat to harvest, I should say. Um, I'm not sure, though. I'm not sure what harvester to buy. I was thinking the John Deere one because I don't really, I've never really used it, but I'm trying to keep as much money as I can because, as we all know, one million dollars is a lot, but it's not. Not for machinery and stuff, so if we don't watch how we spend it, we could blow it all very quickly. So I'm not sure which one to get. I don't want to waste money. So I might even let you guys comment on what sort of harvester you guys want to see. I don't mind the really old New Holland, but the header on it is just tiny. It's like three meters. Which I mean, I mean it's okay, I guess. But I'm not a huge harvesting fan, so I kind of like to get that job out of the way kind of quickly. Not too quickly. I enjoy a bit of it, but not an extensive period of it. This is the farm work I enjoy. But we are almost done. Done at this paddock anyway. I don't think we'll tether, I think we'll just do some grass bales and lift them up and take them out of here and we'll just start um, building a bit of a food food pile for the cows so that we're prepared for when we get some. Pretty sure sheep can eat grass bales as well so um, that'll be helpful if we have some grass bales already for them as well. Like I said I'm yet to do sheep in 19 so I'm not exactly sure how this will work because I haven't actually personally done them yet. So I'm not exactly sure how much food they need and from what Jeremy's told me and other people have told me they're pretty they're pretty easy to be honest to feed. They only like require grass or something and water. And then they just produce the wool. So I guess we will find out. Just do a bit of the edge, every little bit of grass helps. Get as much of it as we can. I'm going to get too close to the fence or the bush. grass will help. So I think that'll do for that one.
Alright, we'll do Paddock 21 and then we'll go and buy a rake, I guess. I'm not sure which one we're going to buy, so we'll have to have a look. I don't think we'll fit through there without this raised all the way up. But that'll work perfectly. This paddock looks a little smaller. I love gates, but that's the worst thing about gates. You can't swing them too far back. So we're going to have a little bit of grass there. It's probably going to be a little wasted, but that's okay. All is good. We will have to get another tractor at some point. Probably an older one. This one's a little... She's pretty new. I mean, we've had her for a bit. Had her on the manor. Kind of need a... Maybe a workhorse sort of tractor or something. Something with a bit of power. This has plenty of power, but something is in a little bit more power. So I'm going to pull a forage harvester and something with these. But we'll figure it out. Let's get around there. I'm really enjoying the different shaped kind of paddocks on this map though. It makes it a lot more interesting. A lot more fun too to play. Which is nice. Paddock won't take long at all to move. This will be pretty quick, I reckon. I reckon another maybe three rows with the mower here and we should be done. I reckon. Maybe four rows there? I'm not sure. It's a little wider down there at the end. But we're getting it down. And then we'll just do the last bit of the headland, just to get that last bit of grass. This is how it is in real life, you have to mow like, little bits like this, this is what I enjoy. This makes it look a bit more legit. It's quite fun. Where's that, a plane? I don't know, this map has an interesting sound and then it just goes away like that. Just, I don't know. I don't know if I like it that bit anyway. It just seems a bit weird. A little close there to the bush, but that's okay. Once we've mowed this paddock, we'll take the uh, mower back to the dairy and we'll go and buy a rake. We'll probably just get the class rake, I reckon, guys. I mean, it's a bit smaller because everything else is a bit bigger. It's also cheaper, but we'll have a look when we get to the shop. It's something that we will investigate when we get there. And there we go. So we'll go ahead and take this mower back to the farm. We'll leave the gates open. I mean, we're going to be coming back in here anyway, so why not? Where's the gate? There it is. I thought it was open on that side. That could have been interesting. Could have been very bad. 
but that's okay. Um, we'll just park the mower back where we had it, I reckon. I reckon that'll be the easiest thing to do. She fits in here nicely. We'll just put it there. Perfect. Alright, we're going to head down to the shop, guys. We'll just head that way. We'll take the scenic route. I haven't been right. I've only been right here to go down to the horses, so we might go this way. We'll make it right here, I reckon. And we'll head this way. Might lower that for safety. We don't want to roll the tractor because we've got the arms up too high, which can happen. It looks like we've got a bit of a pond here on the left, which is nice. I'm not really sure where we're going. I haven't actually been this way, to be honest. Oh, there we are. There's the road. Give way. We'll do our best. I don't think anything's coming. There's this mimics are coming on the right, but we'll make that. There we go. For this episode, though, we might just do the raking, and then that might do it, and then the next one I'll do the bailing and the picking them up, I reckon. I think that'll be what we'll do. Here's the shop right here. Let's go and see what they got. Alright, we'll just park here. Alright, what have we got that we can get? So, we just need a rake. See, this one, 10 grand. It's a bit small though. I mean, it's okay for the paddock sizes that we have, but it's also very small. Not my kind of rake, anyway. So that's 4.6 metres. Then we have the class liner, which is 7.4 7 metres. And then we've got the coon, which is 30 gram, which is 9 metres. That's a little too big. This one's probably more, more up our alley, I think. Yeah, I think we'll go with the class liner. For 21,000. There she is. Beautiful looking machine. So we'll go ahead and we'll connect that to the tractor. Lower our dash there. Alright, we'll put this on. Perfect. She's on. We're good to go. Don't think there's any cars coming. Perfect. Now we'll head back up to the farm and we'll start doing some raking. Alright guys, we're just pulling up here at the farm now. Oh, that's going to do the rake. We just need to lift this up to get over the hedges and all that. Which is okay. So we'll make a little left here. I think I may have just said right. Oh well. That's okay. It was meant to be a left. We'll do the end paddock first. is going to be this one right here. We'll go ahead and unfold the rake. We shouldn't hit that gate, I don't think. We might. I don't think we will. No, we've got a little bit of a gap there. A bit of room to work. We'll start her up. And away we'll go. I doubt this will take that long. It's seven and a half meters long, pretty much, so. Should be pretty straightforward. We can turn the beacon off. We don't need that going. Not at the moment, anyway. Probably gonna miss a bit of grass here. I might come back and do that a little bit. Corner's a little tight. 
that's okay. Doesn't matter if we miss a little bit of grass, you miss a bit of grass anyway, IRL, or hay, whatever you want to call it. It happens. Trying to get past my OCD issues on farming sim where if I miss a bit I have to go and get it because every tiny little bit helps. Kind of need to get over that a little bit, but that's okay. All is good. Something that is going to be interesting while baling is um, a lot of these paddocks have little hills in them so it'd be interesting to see how many bales roll down the hill. Hopefully we don't have too many problems. I think we're just going to have a tiny bit here that's going to be missed we'll have to come back for because that's a bit too much grass to miss. But that's okay. All is good. See how it's got these nice little bits of hill on them? So that'll be interesting to bail. I think they should be pretty good though. I don't think we'll have too much of an issue with them rolling. To be quite honest, I think it'll be pretty, pretty good. Pretty straightforward. I think we'll keep half the bales and we'll probably sell half of them, to be honest. We'll try and make a little bit of money back and we'll try and keep some for feed for the cows and the sheep. I don't know, it kind of depends on how many we get as well. That all is dependent on that. But I'm hoping for a, a pretty good amount. Depends on how well these paddocks were fertilised and all that when we brought them. The previous owner may have done a very poor job at... Um, handling that kind of stuff so that'll be something we'll have to keep an eye on as well they may not have just been looked after properly so we may get a bad yield from it for the first one then the second time we do it we might make sure that we do it correctly we harvest correctly we fertilize correctly and stuff like that because obviously we want as much as we can get But that's that paddock done. We'll just get this last little bit here. I don't know whether to go back around the edge and get that last little bit that was missed. I don't know if it's really that crucial. No, I think it'll be fine. So that's that paddock done. And I might do the next couple, uh, I might try and time lapse them or something, but um, or just do them in bits and pieces for you guys to watch, so I'll talk to you shortly.
Alright, that's the first headland done. Alrighty guys, we're almost done here on this paddock. Um, I am probably going to end it here once we finish this paddock and then we'll start the bailing and the process and all that in the next video I'm picking them up. So, yeah. We've got a nice pretty, nice good couple of headlands in this paddock though, so that should be good. This is probably the bigger paddock I think, personally. I could be wrong though, but I'm pretty sure it is. But yeah. Before I do end the video though, after this rake, we might we might buy the baler. We might ring them up and see what they have. Pretty sure there's a catalogue or something over at the house that we can have a quick squiz at. So we might head over there really quickly and have a bit of a look. I haven't raked the other two paddocks yet, but we'll do them later. We've got two of them done, so it's not a huge issue. Are we going to make that? We are. Good. Good. That was very tight, but we did it. We'll head down to the house and have a quick look. We'll just park here, I think. We'll just leave it going because we'll be back to the tractor shortly. Pretty sure there's a catalogue sitting on the kitchen bench. Right, here we go. Just here. Alright, so. Bailing technology. We have the Roll Belt 150 New Holland. We're going to do round bales, obviously. I'm not a huge square bale fan. So that's 49 grand. We then have the Roland 250, $35,000. This could be an option. It's not too expensive. What else have we got? We've got the Crone and the Lely. The Lely is probably a bit up there. That's pretty dear. That's $58,000. Yeah, that's 58 grand and eight. And then you have to add the, then I'd add the stair bit, which is 59. That's a big baler as well, so I think we we got the option here. Now, I know the Roland is cheaper, but the best thing about the Crone is if it's a bale that's 2,000 litres or 3,000 litres, I can still push it out, So, as I can't do that with the class. So I don't know, I feel like I should go with the Crone just for that reason, that I can push out a bale, um, you know, and it doesn't matter if it's not 4,000 litres, as long as it's more than 2,000, we're good. I think we will get this one, I think. I mean, it's only, it's only what, seven grand more? I mean, I know it's seven grand's a bit of money, but I think we can afford it. I think it's worth it. I think we'll get that, guys. And we'll pick that up in the next video. So we've purchased that. But um, that is gonna do it for this one, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the bit of mowing and the raking that we just done. And then the next video we'll do some bailing and hopefully we'll pick up the bales and make a decision on officially what we are going to do with them, whether we sell them or keep them. Um, I'm sure we'll keep most of them and sell maybe a couple. I'm not really sure. Depends on how many we get, like I said. But um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all next time.